So you want to collect comic books. Well, we got some answers for you. I'm Jason Inman. I'm Ashley Victoria Robinson. And I'm Jason Inman. I love comics. And I love comic books. That's a thing that I started out so many videos on this channel so long ago. Everybody, you remember those Jason Reads comic books? I'm like, hi, I'm Jason Inman. I read comic books. Every video for like a year and a half I did that. But Ryan Venus is here. And he has a question straight from our Patreon, patreon.com slash jobins, where you support the channel a little bit. And we answer your questions. Go over there, check it out. Ryan Venus, who is uh, the tallest man in Michigan, he has a question here specifically about collecting comics. Now, he has a long question here, and I want to read a little bit mm -hmm. out of it because we're, we're going to go a little bit on here. But this is basically about if you're new to collecting comic books, you don't know where to start, we're going to give you the answer in this video. So Ryan Venus asked this specifically. So he says, I am an on-again, off-again comic collector who bounces back and forth between floppies. Ashley, what's floppies? Floppies are the single 22-page issues mm -hmm. that come out monthly. Digital issues and trades. What are trades? The collected issues of an entire storyline. Mm -hmm. Which has led to a very disjointed collection for Ryan. My question is, what are the pros and cons to these methods? Which do you do? And for the futurist in you, What's the future look like for collectors? What sh where should I put my energy and attention? Thanks. All right, Ryan, that is a great, great question. Um, I'm going to start off on this. Sure. Um, right now, there is only one series that I collect actual physical single issues mm -hmm. on, and that is Action Comics. Because, as you can tell, I'm a big Superman fan, and I have the goal that eventually I want to collect all at least the first thousand of Action Comics. So if Action you Comics. you have a collection of Action Comics that you would like to get rid of, send it to our P.O. box. Yeah, or, or email me. Tell me. I, well, don't send all of them because I might have some of the issues. But that's the only <laughs> single issue. Everything else I read, I buy digital single issues, mm -hmm. and I buy trades, hardcovers for stuff I love, and everything else I either read digitally. So, And that's mainly because um, I live in Los Angeles. I live in an apartment. And space is at a premium. Now, Ashley, what do you do? So I'm not collecting any single issues. I can't... Physical single issues. ...think of the last time I collected something that was a single issue. And you did some Robins for a while. I did, um, but nothing coming out yep. actively. Um, usually the only time I... the last I... series you did was The Bunker. Sorry to interrupt you. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> uh, the Bunker's great. You should check it out. Yep. Uh, usually if I'm pulling single issues, it's my friend's comics. Oh, yeah. Um, because we know from making Jupiter Jet mm -hmm. and from making comics that um, single issue sales really matter. Yeah. And they can determine a lot about the future of your books. We try to support mm -hmm. try to support our friends' books. Uh, that's why we're always tweeting them out. So the last one we bought was Canto by IDW. That's right. So mm -hmm. you should uh, you should always check should out check what we're out. promoting because they're great people yep. that we really love. Um I have almost my entire life been what is called a trade waiter, someone who waits for the mm -hmm. collections. Economically, for a long time, that was the best way to get your and story Also lines. the cheaper way. That's what I mean. It's slightly cheaper. That's what I mean economically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like It is cheaper to buy a collection per page than it is to buy them weekly. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly if you have a, a wide array of interests, you know, vast collections, stuff like that. Now digital has really flipped that script and you can yep. get a lot of stuff digitally for like half or like significantly lower mm -hmm. price point. So And I like reading digitally too. So do I. I have no issue. Yeah, yeah. I have no issue reading digitally. Some mm -hmm. people don't like the experience to them. I would say mm, grow up. It's just reading. Well don't say grow up because um, they could be already growing up. Uh, sure. It's whatever you prefer. It is. It is. It is a matter of. I like to be able to zoom in on the artwork. I actually like the guided view a lot because you get to see like how uh -huh. much detail people put into their. You can't. You can't see in a physical unless you do do this, yeah. which is crazy. And then you look really dumb in public. Don't do that. Uh, or do it's fine. But yeah. I think ultimately, to Ryan's question, I think it depends on why you are collecting mm -hmm. and what you are collecting. Um. If you are someone like Jason who is trying to actively collect an entire run, floppies can be a really fun way to engage with it's that. cool. I put them all in a spinner rack, man. We have a mm -hmm. spinner rack, and they look cool. Every time I get a new one, I put it in there. Um, this, this is what I would like to say to him. Yeah, I would say, because um, he asked this question as well. He's like, what is the futurist in you? What do you think the future looks like for collectors? And this is my honest opinion. Yeah. I think the future for comic book collecting is this, because... Single issues have not been valuable for a long time. The death of Superman killed single issues. I love that event, but it totally did it because everybody and their grandmother went out and bought Superman number 75, 
and they thought it was going to pay for their college, and everybody has it, and now you can find it in every quarter bin across America. So, single issues are not valuable money-wise. They're only valuable to you. Mm -hmm. So, this is what I would say. This is my preferred way of collecting, and this would be my advice, especially for the futurist. Um, but you can do it any way you like. That's the greatest thing about collecting comics, and there's no right way, there's no wrong way. I would say, buy the single issues of series that interest you. Mm -hmm. If you're a fan of Batman, then buy Batman. If you're a, a fan of uh, Ambush Bug, buy Ambush Bug. If you're a fan of Thor, go buy Thor. What I find is the funnest for me, and you've seen me do this at several cons, is that I, um, so for a long time I was looking for Green Lantern and Kyle Rayner. I have not completed that run. So I'd go to a con, and I would like look through their long boxes and try to buy like one or two Kyle Rayners. So I'd have something fun to do at every con. I do that for Action Comics as well. Um, so pick a series that really means a lot to you, and then make it your goal to have a complete run. I think that's where collecting is fun. And then that way, it doesn't matter because you're not doing it for monetary value. Mm -hmm. I would say everything else, everything else, for me, I would I would buy the trade. I would buy the trade. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I honestly think the whole market, I think the whole market's going that way anyway. I, th I think eventually, um, and there's many pockets talk about this, I think eventually the whole market is going to go um, the anime uh, the manga, manga style. which is 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 where you get like one volume every quarter, every every six quarter, months. every six months, and that's the whole thing. Because I think we're gonna get to an industry just like magazines where single issues are too expensive to produce. Well, um, my experience working in the comic book industry has been as a creator, as an editor, um, an artist on the production side, and, and in retail. Yeah, and let me tell you, uh, single issues are not profitable. For anyone, yeah. single issues are a loss making venture. They are a relic of the past that a, a generation that loves them won't let go of. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think they are dragging down the comic book mm -hmm. industry. And I think because uh, creators are forced to hit a monthly deadline, I mean, theoretically, because lots of people blow their deadlines, yeah. um, I think books suffer for it where maybe they would be better if they had a longer creative process behind them. Can I ask you a question as sure. a re retailer? Yeah. Um, now, trades sold well in your shops. Yeah. Yeah, trades. I, that's what I've always heard. Now that's every correct, right? every shop is different. Sure. Um, of course, but in my experience, trades are what. Keeps... And you've worked in two different shops. Yeah. And in both those shops, yeah, trades, trades sold better. Collections. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, uh, people who come in and and buy two hundred dollars a week in their poll file, that's great too. Yeah. But that person is few and far between. Sure. Sure. Um. So I I think, and you've said this before too. I think all books, mm -hmm. not even just comics are eventually going to get to a point where it is boutique. You will order your specific copy like of this book, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it will show up. They're and limited you will, print runs. And you will pay a premium mm -hmm. for that. Um, I think buy the, buy the trade of the thing that you love or the thing that you are most interested in. I think if you're just checking out something and getting your feet wet, I think digital is the best way to go. And there's an advantage. And then you won't die crushed by long boxes. There's an advantage. There is an app called Hoopla. Hoopla Digital. Uh, they have sponsored several videos on this channel. They are amazing. And if you want to like try out comic books, basically all you need is a library card. All you need is a library card. Now, certain states and certain libraries don't have them. I don't know. I don't have the exact list. I'm not Hoopla, and I'm not being paid by Hoopla. But uh, as far as Los Angeles County it mm -hmm. works, all you need is a Los Angeles County library card. And um, you download the app. And as long as that book is... In the library's digital collection, Hoopla will let you access it. There are so many DC Tons comics. There are so many Marvel. Archie there are so has many images. Most of them Archie's on there. Boom's mm -hmm. on there. Um, Action Lab's on there. It's amazing. And again, it's it lets you read them. Mm -hmm. um, and it costs nothing. Mm -hmm. So if you're very curious about like where to start, I think Hoopla is the best thing ever. Also, Comixology has some amazing sales where they yeah. like, just give you uh, issues for a dollar. Um, yeah, that's a great cents. way to check it out. So, like, digital is the. I, I, I think here, here, here's my advice to you. Digital is where you're gonna find the comics you love. I think trades and hardcovers are where you're gonna own the stuff you love. And then I think single issues, if you want to collect a specific run, a specific character, and you want to have some fun with that. Because I have fun collecting action comics. Uh -huh. I actually love what I do. My technique is, 
is um, so there's a great app. I don't know what it is right now because it's on my phone right now. I have an app that that has my entire comic book library in it, and so I open it up when I go to cons just to make sure I don't buy a duplicate. And then I go find these, you know, comic shops at San Diego Comic Con or wherever, and I look through Action Comics, and then I pick the most interesting cover. Mm -hmm. As long as I don't have it, I pick the most interesting. And to be honest with you, that's fun to me. And, and, and Ashley can see because, like, I'll, I'll have her be the deciding vote sometimes. Yeah. I'll be like, this one or this one. <laughs> and, and, and again, that brings me joy. Like, as, uh, what's her name on Netflix? Marie Kondo. Do what makes you. That, Sparks joy. That's the number one rule for all of this. Who cares how disjointed your collection is? Do yeah. what sparks joy. And me hunting those action comics mm -hmm. down are fun for me. And it's a fun little thing. And it's also a thing I have yet to meet somebody else that's collecting all of action mm -hmm. comics. So whenever anybody, they're like, oh, you're trying to get all 1,000? I'm like, yep. They're like, oh, that's cool. I will say if you, your best investment in terms of single issue comics is buying from independent people mm -hmm. because that's where your money goes either to directly to them or to the publisher to let them know that you want more of that story. It matters more that you buy issue a single issue of Jupiter Jet or of Kanto um, mm -hmm. or of Kill Switch, which is coming out, than if you go buy a single issue of Batman. Yes. That's just the honest truth. Indie yep. creators need your money on single issues more. That's true. If you, if you, yeah, if you are interested in like investing in the industry and maybe keeping the industry alive, yeah. everywhere that's not Marvel or DC yeah. is going to use that dollar better or keep that dollar, use that dollar to better things than Marvel or DC. Marvel and DC, you are giving money to Disney and you're giving money to Warner Brothers. That's all you're doing. Whereas like everywhere else, you're literally giving a percentage of your dollar to the actual creator. Mm -hmm. They are getting that dollar. Um, yeah. So that uh, was a very disjointed answer. Well, I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I'm, I'll am i tell you what. I'm excited for you because it's, if you're getting started in this again, that's yeah. a great place to be. Um, everyone's also, Ryan in particular, everyone's collections are, are disjointed. We all yeah. have single issues, digital, and various uh, mm -hmm. collections. So I wouldn't feel bad if that's what your collection looks like. And I wouldn't feel like you have to fix it because you don't. Yeah. I don't know. I hope he answered. Yeah. Like you're you're entering a big new. Welcome back to a big new <laughs> world, my friend. And uh, I hope this answers your question. And uh, uh, if if you collect a certain run, please tell us. Mm -hmm. Like I'm very interested in. It. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a suggestion. You can you can throw it back at me. You can throw it back in my face. You can say forget it, or you can scoop it up. We all saw Spider Verse, right? We all saw Spider Verse. Yes. At the end of the credits, there's a character called Spider-Man 2099. Personal favorite of mine. Now, he stars in a solo series called, shocker, Spider-Man 2099. Not shocker the villain. Okay? There's only 45 issues of that. Now, if they make a Spider-Man 2, there's no if, when they make mm -hmm. Spider-Man 2, They're making it right now. you know Spider-Man 2099 is going to be in that book. So, or in that movie, excuse me, if that character intrigued you, if the sultry tones of Oscar Isaac flummoxed you, and if you want to have fun and also maybe collect a run that could become... Might actually be worth something. Might actually be worth something if he's one of the starring characters of that movie, that is a very easy run to find and collect for single issues. Spider-Man 2099, there's only 45 issues. Very easy to find. So there is a, just a... Thought experiment. Experiment. And then if, you, if you're if you not sure if you want to do Spider-Man 2099, um, if you use Marvel Unlimited, which uh, uh, you, know, you pay a membership fee and you get to read issues for free once you do that, uh, the first like 30 issues of Spider-Man 29 are on Marvel Unlimited. So you can go read the first issue and see if that's even your bag, if you even want to do it. It's a great series written by Peter David, drawn by Rick Leonardi. Okay, so there you go. Ryan, the tallest man in Michigan. So excited for you to collect comic books again. If you want us to answer your question like we did Ryan's, then you need to go to patreon.com slash Jawin, turn off your alarm phone like that just went off like Ashley, and select the Mind University producer level because it supports our channel, supports our podcast, and 
it gets your question answered. We thank everybody that supports us over there because they are amazing patrons and amazing super friends. Uh, don't forget to click subscribe on this channel. Tell you what, tell us what comics you collect down below. I want to know. Is it Ambush Bug? It better be Ambush Bug. I'm Jason Inman. I'm Ashley Victoria Robinson. Thanks for watching.